you know what? More of the black patties. Yeah, yeah, but I did that too. Now we do want to do, you know what? Do a time of when you want to do what the what the the pen right here and baby the middle and do it the middle. Yes, it's me, Double B. What the? What you need to do is turn off that game, turn the TV off, and get to doing your homework. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Hey, guys, sorry, I gotta get off the game now. Talk to you guys later. Dad, I am so sorry. I will never do that again. For now on, when I get home, I'm gonna do my homework and study till it's time to go to bed. You know what? The game is actually a big distraction, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my PS5 away and never play it again in my life. That's what I thought. <laughs> Playing with me. What you need to do is turn off that game, turn the TV off, and get to doing your homework. Do you understand me? First off, who are you talking to? You're not talking to me like that. How you gonna come up in my room without knocking on the door? I'm in my room, minding my business, playing the game, having fun, and you over here interrupting my peace. I've been at school all day. I need my peace. You worried about me playing the game? What you need to figure out is how you got fired on your day off. Hey, Dad, you fill out any job applications? Hey, you fill out any job applications? No, because I don't care! And you need to find a new job. How can you worry about that instead of me playing the game before I do my homework? How about that, Dad? Don't keep talking too. Worry about me playing the game. You need to go find a job. You need to pay these bills. That's what you need. Well, I got that for a question. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead and turn the TV off and clean up this room. It is a total mess. We have guests coming over in 10 minutes. So hurry up and clean your room up now. Wait, guests are about to come over now? Okay, Mom, I promise you, I'm going to clean my room up as fast as possible. I promise you, if I knew people were coming, they around I'm gonna you. clean my room. And even though the guests aren't going to come in my room, I'm still going to clean this room up the best Young way boy. possibly. Is that, that, I'm in there. <laughs> Thank you. We have guests coming over in 10 minutes, so hurry up and clean your room up now. Okay, I'm gonna clean up right now. Why would I clean up my room if guests are coming over and they're not coming in here? Please tell me, are they coming in here? No. So why would I clean up my room if the guests aren't coming in here? Make it make sense, Mom. Make it make sense. I'm not cleaning up my room because the guests are gonna be out in the living room. You act like they're gonna come in here and be like, are they gonna do that, Mom? Are they gonna do that, Mom? No, I don't think I'm so. Pray, you go out there and clean the living room because the guests gonna be out there. So go ahead and go out there and clean it. And I'm gonna mind my business in my dirty room and watch what I was watching. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher! Yes, Dad? Yes, yeah, son, can you give me the remote on the table? I can't reach it. Oh, the remote? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Man, Oh, you mean that remote that's two inches from you? Of course I'll get it for you, Dad! I would hate for you to even grab the remote and then miss the football game that you're watching. You already know. Oh, you know, you know, so you know, know you don't have to for you. You are one of the most hardworking people I know, so there should be no reason why you're not not having a job. Let me get that for you right now, Dad. Here you go. Oh, thank you, son. Thank you so much, boy. I don't know what I'll do without you. Yeah, no, we're not saying it. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to. Yeah, son, can you give me the remote on the table? I can't reach it. You talking about the remote that's two inches from you? No, I'm not about to pick up that remote. It's freaking two inches from you. I can't believe you called me out of my room to tell you to give me the remote that's literally in front of you. You see, now I'm starting to see why you got fired from your job. Me, you know, no, no, yeah. Anything if you can't pick up the remote. You know what? I'll be in the little room. I'm going to go ahead and just give you the remote. <laughs> Sorry. I ain't giving you nothing, you lazy bum!
McDonald's money? Um, McDonald's money? Um, do, no, do you not, have that money? McDonald's money. Well, come back to me when you do have that McDonald's money. Until then, eat the food that's in the refrigerator. Well, I'm going to make it a mission for me to get McDonald's money next time. I didn't even know McDonald's money existed. So next time I ask you, Mom, just know I will have McDonald's money. So it's OK that we can't go to McDonald's. I'll just eat the leftovers in the fridge. <laughs> yeah! Do you have McDonald's money? Do I have McDonald's money? McDonald's money don't even exist, Mom. I'm not stupid. But I do know that today was payday, so that means you earned your real money, which means you have enough money to take me to McDonald's. So I need you to take me to McDonald's right now because I am sick of eating your nasty freaking food. It's disgusting! I may not have McDonald's money, but you sure don't have cooking skills. Now please, spare me my life. Look, and take that me guy that's fine. That's what Thank you. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get off that phone, you always on TikTok. What you need to do is read a book. A book. Now get off that phone. Hey, you need to get a job. What you like? It deal with your life. Or even on my phone at that. I'm literally wasting time just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. You're right. I need to read a book. So let me ditch this and get this. Yeah, Dad, I'm going to read this whole book today. And then after I'm done with this, I'm going to read another book. And after I'm done with that book, I'm going to read another book. Actually, you know what? I'm going to break my phone because I don't need it anymore. Now, if you can excuse me, I'm going to get to reading my book. What you need to do is read a book. A book. Now get off that phone and go read something. Read what right here. So you tell me to get off my phone so what you doing right now? I'm oh, scrolling just like I'm doing. Who cares if I'm on TikTok all day? What you need is a TikTok for your stank breath. And you talking about read a book? You don't even know how to read. Now you're 50 years old and still don't know how to read. Don't tell me to read. Man, you know what? What they say? Geniuses, gen, geniuses, guinea pig, giga, gigabyte, Genesis, Genesis. They say Genesis. I tell me you stupid trying to tell me to read. You need to go read. Hey, Christopher. Um, let me get that ten dollars your grandma just gave you. I promise you, I'ma keep it safe. I just want to hold it so you don't lose it. Oh, that's better. I want to be stupid. Ten dollars. I trust you, and I know you're gonna give it right back to me. I don't know if you slap the hell out of me, but I don't know if you slap the hell out of me. Plus, I don't want to lose it. I feel like wherever you're gonna put it, it's gonna be safe and sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Christopher. I promise you, I'm gonna keep it safe so you don't lose it, and I'm gonna give it right back. Okay? Okay. Bye. See? Um, let me get that ten dollars your grandma just gave you. Oh! No, I ain't giving you my ten dollars. You think I'm stupid? Grandma just told me not to give you my ten dollars. She said if I give you my ten dollars, you gonna take it to the store and get your hair done and get your, your nasty toes done and get your fingers done. No, I ain't giving you nothing. So, your school called me today, and they say you were cheating in class during the big test. Due to the fact you were cheating, they have suspended you for two weeks. So, since you want to cheat and get suspended, I'm going to ground you for two years. No TV, no game, no no Snapchat, no Face tablet, you ain't getting nothing back until you learn not to cheat again in your life. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I hear you loud and clear. I deserve to be grounded for two years. I should have never cheated on my test. You're absolutely right for taking everything from me. I promise you that I will never cheat again in school. You ain't getting nothing back. I'm like, I'm like, 
you keep this shit on your wife? Do I make myself clear? Hey, yeah, you make yourself clear. Are you cheating on your wife? Oh, so you want to talk about cheating? Well, I didn't know about cheating till I learned it from you. I know that you're cheating on mine. Not like I said. The day I asked you for your phone so I could play games, well, while I was playing games, I saw a text coming from Miss Johnson talking the about teacher? Oh, I can't wait for you to come over here and lay your chocolate body in my bed. You're not even made of chocolate. You're the real cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So I advise you to unground me before I tell mom how you've been cheating on her. And I don't think you want that to happen, do you? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> hmm. Hey, mom. Um, can I go to Derek's house? No. No? Yeah, you know what, you're right. I shouldn't go to Derek's house and I, I don't even want to. He's a weird kid, you know? I'm gonna go in my room and actually do something with my life, you know? How about, how about you, how about you? Oh, this is the yeah, yeah, this no. is just... I'm gonna go to Derek's house because I want to. I'm tired of you always telling me what to do. You always making me clean and do this and do that and do this. And I'm tired of always doing stuff. That man. I don't even do anything. So today, no, that I'm that me. <laughs> I never knew you felt that way. And I'm so glad you opened up and told me how you really feel. So basically, what you're telling me is that you want a butt whooping. Wait, no. Oh, no, I'm the player. I'm the player. Uh-oh, don't run now. Don't run now. Hey, you want to tell me how you feel? Well, I'm going to show you how I feel. Come here, Chris. Show how I do. comes from Galatians 5:24, and it says, "Those who belong to Christ Jesus, Fortnite swing sports." I got my right class. Hey, everybody, listen here. Class is about to start. Everybody, please take your seats. All right. Now today we are going to be learning. Okay. Excuse me. There will be no Eve in my classroom. Huh? Ain't hear me no oh. need. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I didn't even know, Mr. Johnson. I'm sorry. I'm putting it out. Don't beat it. Don't beat it. I was just very hungry. It ain't got me. You be sick feeding the I didn't even know I was being a disruption to class. So oh, I am so sorry for that. It's rude of me to just bring snacks for myself I, anyway. If I'm going to bring snacks, I'm going to bring some for you because you are the best teacher in this entire school. I'll just wait to eat when it's lunchtime, which is in exactly six hours, which is perfectly fine with me. Thank you. Now, like I was saying, today we're going to be learning about the birds and the bees. The parents are going to teach you this. Now, see, what you got is you got a hole here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this here and you're going to shove it. Huh? Excuse me. That would be uh, my yeah. in my class. Oh, uh, yeah. I ain't had a little bit of bird and bees. I ain't had to learn how to die. Mr. Johnson, oh, I ain't had to learn how to die to make a baby. I eat breakfast. The bus dropped me off late, which means I couldn't get no breakfast. So you expect me to sit in your classroom and not eat? For what? This is my food! I bought this! So I can understand if you bought it, but you didn't! This is my food, so I'ma eat it when I want to! You really expect me to sit in this class hungry and listen to your boring tale teach? Heck no! It's a death sentence! Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry my eating might have disturbed the class and your teaching, but I'm hungry! So what you need to do is go back to what you was doing, and I'ma go back to what I was doing, which was eating my food and minding my business, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Talking about I'm causing a disruption. Do I even sound like I'm causing a disruption? Yeah, yeah. you kind of are. Shut up! Okay. Why would you speak three minutes around and not be like that? <laughs> Mr. Mays, why do you have that phone out? You and me both know you are not allowed to have a phone in my classroom. Now give me your phone. You're right. You're right. I, I ain't going to be my phone. I'm not getting that phone. So you and the rest of the class. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would be feeling the place. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have got an F on the last test. <laughs> Matter of fact, ain't nothing on this phone gonna help me in my life. Not Instagram, not TikTok, not Facebook. <sighs> hey, that, that don't even matter. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know what? Nothing on this phone is gonna help me in my life. This ain't gonna help me pass algebra. This ain't gonna help me pass calculus. Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube. You know what? Yeah, like that. Just keep the phone and just give it back to me whenever you feel like I'm ready for it. Thank you. 
And you're right, I'll give it to you when you deserve it. Hm. It's my phone now. Yeah, you better phone with a different text. Not at all, I put your CC you in. You're not allowed to have a phone in my classroom. Now give me your phone. Oh, I'm gonna need a baby for that one, though. I ain't giving you nothing. You pay my phone bill? I didn't think so. I don't even know why we're here. Everything you're teaching us, we can Google it on our phone. My bad. Yeah. What's the question of the day? Who's the funniest YouTuber alive? Siri, who's the funniest YouTuber alive? Daryl Mazes. Is that it? black man are funnier than him? Shut up. Why you want to single me out anyway? Everybody in this classroom got their phone out. You got a phone in your pocket, don't you? But it's because I'm black, ain't it? It's because I'm black. It's because we black. You know what I'm about to say? I'm taking a stand. Who's with me? Like Ron Luther Park, we're taking a stand. I'm like, you still ain't get my phone. Oh, yeah, bro, it's so funny, I swear. It was funny. Oh, Christopher, you're doing way too much talking over there. I'll tell you what, since you want to talk, how about you talk on the way to detention? Get out of my class. How about you talk you and be a way to do this badge? You're while you're teaching the class. I was just talking about how Black Badger just dropped a new video, but I can talk about that to him later on, not now, because it is class time and I shouldn't be talking at all. But you know what? You caught me talking, and I'm so sorry for that, so I deserve to go to detention. Yeah, 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 Did you want to talk? How about you talk on the way to detention? Get out of my class! Mr. Johnson, me and Bradley was having an AP conversation. Can you please see your way out of it? You really gonna send me to detention just for talking? All you gotta do is tell me to be quiet and I'm gonna be quiet. What you think I'm gonna do when I get to detention, huh? I'm gonna be talking, so it don't even matter! So actually, you know what? I don't wanna even stay here. I'm gonna go to detention just like you said, so I can go talk in there. I can't wait to go to detention. <laughs> detention, my butt! He really thought I was going to detention. What the hell? I'm going home. Where you think you're going? Detention is that way. I'm on your 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 way. I don't know. Can you? That's why I'm asking you. Can I use the bathroom or not? Can I? May I? It's all the same thing. I'm speaking proper English to you. What I gotta do? Say it in Spanish? What I was saw in baño, por favor, and stupido. Did you understand that? No, I didn't think so. So can I? You know what? I ain't gonna go to the bathroom because I gotta be in. I ain't gonna wait to be in when I eat. All right, everybody, go on, sit down. Everybody, sit down now. Uh-uh-uh. Don't you even bother coming in here. You know that bell rung 45 seconds ago. You late. Go on, close my door and go to ISN. You know what, Mr. Johnson? You're right. I'm late and I deserve to go to ISN. And that's a suspension for y'all that don't know. It was all my fault that I was late. I overslept this morning. My mom was told me to get up and I was late. I finally got up. I missed the bus. I was late. I was late. Oh, Mr. Johnson, I will never be late again. Yeah, you've been more saying that you're dead, girl. Yup, that's right. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know why y'all think I be playing. Don't, do not come late to my class. I will send you out of here. Now that goes in. Go, you late. Go on, close my door and go to ISS. <laughs> late? I literally just got here when the bell rung. What you mean I'm late? Mr. Johnson, you was late for class yesterday. Talking about, oh, my car shut down. That problem was late. We didn't question you, did we? And we let you in the classroom? So why can't you let me in the classroom? Mr. Johnson, this is just between us. All you gotta yeah. do is let me walk in the classroom, sit down, I'm gonna listen to what you gotta say, and none of this even happened, okay? But no, you wanna send me to ISS because I'm a point second late. Are you serious? Man, Mr. Johnson, I ain't listening. You ain't going to no ISS because I'm late to school? What kind of mess is that, man? I'm about to sit down. It's really what it's 
shot a honey, I saw you riding here on a scooter. Protest. So class, y'all remember, tonight you have to study chapter one, chapter two. Hey, hey, where y'all think y'all going? The bell does not dismiss any of y'all. I do. Now well, say what, that now. The bell. You know what? And I ain't really waiting out of what? You don't dismiss us. You dismiss us. Uh, you know yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. You're not the bell don't dismiss us. It doesn't show you can't get high. Hold on, Miss Williams, you continue teaching. You know what? Matter of fact. Let me go ahead and get my notebook. <laughs> I'm gonna start packing everything. You ain't no teacher. Let me go paper. You might got pencil with my pen though. Thanks, Timmy. Appreciate it. You know, so what if I miss my bus and I gotta walk five hours home? Who okay. cares? Yeah, you're not that teacher. So I guess I'm gonna be here longer. Exactly, Mr. Mays. Now, like I was saying, you have to study chapter one and two. <laughs> the bell does not dismiss any of y'all. I do. Now sit back down. The bell don't dismiss us. What for what the bell supposed to be for? To just sit there and make noise? You didn't say that when I was late. Now all of a sudden the bell don't matter. Make up your mind, Mr. Williams. What you want? I'm doing this for you, Mr. Williams, because you wanna know why? Because if I miss my bus, that means I'm gonna have to walk home. If I gotta walk home, I gotta walk into the house all sweaty and stanky. If I'm sweaty and stanky, my mama gonna say, Why do you feel like outside? I'm gonna say, Well, Mr. Johnson kept me over time, so that means I had to walk home. She gonna say, Oh, he made you walk home? Oh, God? I'm gonna be like he did. She gonna walk up here to the school, and guess who she's gonna be looking for? Mr. Williams. And when she finds you, she gonna say, He made my walk home? And I'm gonna say, Yes, he did, mama. He made me walk home, and she gonna. Slap that thing on your mustache right off your face. Is that what you want, Mr. Williams? Is that what you want? I didn't think so. So like I said, I'm eating. I'm eating. All right, so the substitute teacher yesterday told me y'all were good students yesterday, so I came with surprises. Guess what? Pop quiz! Everybody clean your desk off. This is worth 80% of your grade. Hope you study. Pop quiz? Dang, I didn't even study. But you know what, Mr. Johnson? I'm glad you're giving us a pop quiz. This just shows us how we need to be prepared at all times. Maybe if I had reviewed my notes like you told us to, I wouldn't have to worry about failing this pop quiz. But unfortunately, I didn't. So, I just have to take it. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You know what? I'm gonna do my best on this pop quiz. But one thing you taught me is to always be prepared in life. You never know what's gonna happen. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I'm gonna get to this pop quiz. Guess what? Pop quiz! Everybody clean your desk off. This is worth 80% of your grade. Hope you study. A pop quiz? Oh my gosh! Mr. Johnson, you know dang well none of us study! How do you expect us to pass this pop quiz when you ain't been to school in like a week? That substitute had no idea what she was talking about! How you want expect us to listen to her dumb tale? Mr. Johnson, you did this on purpose! You want us to fail, don't you? I know you do. You want us to be broke and unhappy just like you. What is this? You think I'm really taking this pop quiz? Yeah, get that out of my face. I ain't taking no pop quiz today. Talking about a surprise. What if I gave you a surprise? How would you like that? You would like that, Mr. Johnson? You want a surprise today? Mr. Williams, can you please help me? I don't know what I'm doing. This is confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I'm afraid I can't help you. This is the big state test, so you gotta do it on your own. You know what? You're right. I knew this test was coming for three weeks and I didn't study. So now I gotta deal with the consequences. Now, because I didn't study, I'm possibly gonna fail this test. And if I fail this test, I might repeat the grade. And you know what? If I repeat the grade, that's okay. Because that's gonna teach me to hold myself accountable next time. As a matter of fact, Miss Williams, forget I asked you, because me asking you to help me on this test might end up getting you fired anyway. So you know what? I, I do it on my own. I do it on my own. Come on, that's all good. <laughs> Can't be too hard. <laughs> Let me see how many questions. Okay, 40, <laughs> 60. They give it 300 questions on 10 now. <laughs> I'm gonna just circle C. C is always right. C stands for correct. <laughs> just try your best. You got it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I'm afraid I can't help you. This is the big state test, so you gotta do it on your own. Miss Williams. Don't do that, Mr. Williams. I, I, I done been in this class about four years now. I'm not trying to fail, Mr. Williams. I need your help. You want to see me again next semester? Just like the past semester? And the semester before that semester? No, I didn't think so. So help me with the Come help me with this test. 400 questions. I don't know what it is. Think about this way. If I fail, you get fired. You want to get fired? 
You already on the edge. I done heard teachers talking. And if I fail, Mr. Williams, my mama gonna whoop me. And if I get whooping, she gonna come whoop you for failing me. I'm doing this for us. This for us. That was number one. Oh, excuse me, Stanley. There will be no cheating in my classroom. You're right. I was cheating. I'm so sorry, Mr. Johnson. I, I How you been cheating like that and that wife for the other person? Any consequence that you're going to give me for cheating, I deserve it 110%. Cheating is wrong, and I will never do it again I in my life. I'm so wife. glad that you caught me cheating. Because if you didn't, I would just keep doing it. And how is that going to help me even grow in life? Cheaters never prosper, Mr. Johnson. So thank you, Mr. Johnson, for catching me. And I'll tell you what, since you want to cheat, your punishment is you going to the principal's office. And you're getting the Oh, excuse me, Stanley. There will be no cheating in my classroom. Mr. Johnson, you really want to talk about cheating right now? Okay, yeah, you called me cheating. I ain't gonna lie. You called me cheating. But shouldn't I be able to do that? Because last time I remember, ain't you cheating on Miss Johnson? Huh? What? No. Yo, you, you didn't know that I know? Shoot, I ain't the only one, though. The whole school know you cheating on Miss Johnson with Miss Taylor across the hallway. I didn't know nothing about cheating till I heard about you cheating. I'm thinking, yo, cheating is bad. But until you start doing it, I said, shoot, I can do it too. I want to be Mr. Johnson when I grow up. So for now on, whatever test I take, I'm a cheat. For every girl I'm going to be with in life, I'm a cheat. And you know what? When people ask me what I'm cheating, it's because of Mr. Johnson. I'm gonna go back to doing what you do. Cheat! Hey, you're right. I like this cheating stuff, Mr. Johnson. You're a genius. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. I'm gonna be a little bit of 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 a little bit